Okay, in this scene, we're gonna talk about minimal change disease. And it's going to be represented by this money change machine over here. Money change machine for minimal change disease, also known as lipoid nephrosis. So minimal change disease is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. That's why over here in this scene, we have these children in the back on this poster to help us remember that it's the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. Let's take a look at this sign over here to help us remember the causes of minimal change disease. The four eyes. Four eyes of MCD. What are the four eyes? Eye for idiopathic. It's often idiopathic. It may be triggered by a recent infection. Immunization as well as immune stimulus are also causes of minimal change disease. Rarely, it may be secondary to a lymphoma, represented by this lymph node with the foam coming out of it. To help us remember the lymphoma, let's explain. Take a look at that EM of minimal change disease. It shows the effacement of the podocyte foot processes. You know, the filtration barrier has three layers, the endothelial cells, the basement membrane, and the foot processes of the podocytes. In minimal change disease, there's an effacement of podocyte foot processes, and this is what causes the leakage of proteins, specifically albumin. You might have noticed when we first started this scene that the table's legs, or its feet, were under the floor. They were effaced, and that was to remind us of this podocyte foot effacement. What is this effacement caused by? It's caused by production of cytokines. For example, IL-12. And that's why we have this I-ELF over here. I-ELF for I-12. There are other cytokines as well. But the point is that we want to remember that it's the production of cytokines that leads to the effacement. And that's exactly why a lymphoma can cause a minimal change disease. Because in lymphoma, there's a high output of lots of cytokines. And that's what causes the damage. And it's because minimal change disease is primarily caused by cytokines that corticosteroids are so effective. And finally, we want to take a look at this picture over here, which shows the glomerulus. On histology, there will be a normal glomerulus seen in minimal change disease, although lipids may be seen in the PCT cells. And a final point that we want to make is that immunofluorescence won't show anything out of the ordinary, and that's because in minimal change disease, there's no immune complex deposition as we see in other conditions. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on mineral change disease, and take care. Mm -hmm.